Hi friends. Happy Tuesday. Um, I just wanted to check in with you guys and see how you're doing on the geometry. Um, yesterday we did um, some geometric shapes. You guys got a chance to make some geometric shapes with the toothpicks and marshmallows or some of you's grapes. Um, and they turned out fantastic. There's just one um, thing I wanted to clear up with you before we go on to today's lesson. So if you remember yesterday, um, I created a square and a triangle. And then I did a, um, a hexagon with blueberry vert vertices um, with my toothpicks. Um, and yesterday when I was checking in on your guys' work, I noticed that some of you were making um, a rectangle and some of you were making a rectangle like this. Now, although this is a rectangle, um, I said yesterday I couldn't make a rectangle with the shape with the same size uh, toothpicks, toothpicks that I had because for a rectangle, you have to have two longer sides and two shorter sides. And I didn't have different size sticks, so I said I wasn't gonna be able to make a rectangle. But some of you were making a rectangle like this. And although this is a rectangle, I just wanna make sure I clarify with you something. Um, a vertex is a place where there is a corner, okay? So it's where two sides meet and then it changes direction, okay? So a vertex is a corner, okay? So it has to maybe go up and over um, or down and then change direction. So at that joint where it changes direction, that corner, we call that a vertex. So I just wanted to clear this up with you before we go on. And I want you to take a good look at this rectangle and tell me how many vertexes are on a rectangle. Just think about that for a second. All right, we talked about this quite a bit. So a vertex is a corner where the lines or sides change direction. So we have one, two, three down here, and four down here in this corner. So I need you to think for me as a mathematician, why is this marshmallow not a vertex? Now, some of you were getting creative and you were using it as a connector for this long side. And while that works as a connector, it does not work as a vertex. So I just wanna clarify that with you. Why can this one not be a vertex? Why is this bottom one in the middle not a vertex? The reason it's not a vertex is because it doesn't meet at a corner or where two lines meet. This is the same line here, okay? It's going all, it's just a longer one going straight across, okay? So it's not changing direction, it's just one long line. So what I did to help fix this issue is I took two toothpicks and I just taped them together. Can you see that? I just taped it in the middle so that you could see it's still just one straight long line. Now when I add my vertex, my vertex to this end and then hook on the shorter side and another vertex and then the longer side. Oh, here's my other longer one. I just taped it in the middle and then add another vertex in the shorter side and one more in this corner okay now this is the correct way to do a rectangle and it's easier to tell that there are only four vertices four corners okay one two three down here and four down here on this side. The reason you cannot have a vertex here in the middle is because this is one long line, okay? It's not changing direction, it's not a corner, it's just an extension of the line or side. So this is the correct way to do the rectangle um, using the marshmallows as your vertices. Now this one, you can use it as a connector, but we can't call these vertices because these two here are not vertices. You can only have a vertex or a vertice where 
there is a corner and the line is changing directions from one connect one line to the next. Okay, there's a corner here where it goes up and changes direction. That's a vertex. So I just wanted to clear that up with you before we go on to today's lesson. So for today's lesson, um, we're going to be talking about um, joining different shapes to make new shapes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my camera here so you can see. I have a pile of shapes here and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sort them. Ooh, this is hard for me to, to get in here. Okay, oops, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to sort them by shape. So I have triangle, triangle. I'll go rectangle. Here's a little tiny little rectangle. Here's a square. Maybe I'll put the squares over here. Here's a another triangle. Here's a square, triangle. Here's a big rectangle. And another big rectangle. And a medium rectangle and a small rectangle. So the first thing I did was I um, sorted my shapes. Um, in the uh, homework pages in your math book um, on lesson unit 10 lesson 10 and also over here so it's page oh, i don't know what page it would be in your homework but I'll, I'll post copies but in here are some shapes that you can use to cut um, to use as manipulatives for yourself because uh, if we were in our classroom, I would break out my tub full of shapes and we would be building with our shapes and we wouldn't have to create our own shapes. But in your homework um, book, there are some shapes that you can rip the pages out and just cut them up and use those for the lesson today. Okay, so that's that's kind of where, what I did to make these ones. Now, the whole idea today is to take these shapes that are smaller and we're going to combine them to make different or larger shapes. So if I take this rectangle here and I put the other rectangle on top of it and I hook it together, can you see what I make? I just make one big square, okay? What happens if I take a triangle, a larger triangle, and I connect my other large triangle to that triangle, can you see what I made there? Okay, I made a, a rectangle. So I can use two triangles to make a rectangle. Um, let's see, what happens if I take the smaller triangle and the smaller triangle here? Let's see, what can I make with, let's see. Part of the thing too is to play and see what you can make. If I turn it this way, does it make another shape? No. If I turn it this way, does it make another shape? Yep, I just made a little square there. So what happens if I take the bigger rectangle and this triangle and this triangle? Let's see, does that does that make no new shape I need something else to go right here what if I take this square so this is kind of like puzzle building and I just pop that square right in there does that make a giant square see that now if we were in our classroom we would have these shapes to be able to use to make different things with um, what happens if I take a little a medium rectangle and a medium rectangle. I can put those together to make a bigger rectangle. And then what if I take this little rectangle and this little rectangle? What does that make? Does that look like a square to you or a larger rectangle? So you can come kind of make different things by combining different shapes together. See if I put this square and this square. So I've just made a larger rectangle there. Okay. So today I want you to use the shapes in your homework folder. The first thing I would suggest that you do is you color them because otherwise it's really kind of hard to, to, um, to, 
tell the front and back. So if you color them first, actually these ones are kind of already shaded, so you don't really need to color them. You can color them if you want, but you can um, color them, cut them out, and then kind of play with them, and then make different shapes. So today's lesson is going to be all about taking smaller geometric shapes and combining them to make larger shapes. Okay, so today I want you guys to have fun with your math today and um, enjoy building your shapes. And then when you create a new shape in your math book today, you're just going to choose um, if you combine the shapes, what new shape do you make um, with those shapes? Okay, and I'll send a picture of that in your work too. Let me see if I. So we're going to be working on student pages 121 to 125. And so it kind of looks like this. I'll show you. Okay. So can you see here where there's, there's those two long triangles? And if you were to put glue right here in the middle and stick those together, would it make a large rectangle out of the two triangles? Or would it make a square? So you're going to look and see. If you added glue here and stuck those together, would it make the rectangle or the square? So I'm hoping that you're thinking it's going to make the rectangle. That would be right. And then down here, here's another sample. Here's a smaller rectangle and a smaller rectangle. If you put glue right here in the middle and stuck them together, what shape would you make? Would you make a square or would you make a circle? I'm hoping you're going to choose the square. A clue here on this one is that... Um, you can look at the vertices too once you glue it together. So um, I hope you have fun today in math. Play with the different shapes to make new shapes and then enjoy your time in the math book today, okay? I'll check in with you later.